off here, just like that. And with a melon baller, we're going to scoop out some of these beautiful watermelon balls here. Put this to the side. Scoop out all the insides of this watermelon. We are going to dump the juice directly into a cup. We're going to add this back. Look at how perfectly hollowed out this watermelon is. We're going to start by pouring all of our delicious fruit into a giant mixing bowl. We got fresh chopped strawberries, green grapes, beautiful blueberries, red grapes, blackberries, and my kids' favorite, raspberries. Mix everything to combine. Now for our gelatin mixture, we're going to pour two cups of water into our bowl here. About six packets of gelatin. And we want to mix this around. Now that gelatin has bloomed, we're going to turn our heat on to a medium, medium-high temperature. And we're just going to heat this up until the water turns clear and all that gelatin is dissolved. We're going to pour the gelatin into another bowl where we're going to mix it. We're going to sweeten with about two tablespoons of honey. Just give that a nice little mix. And now we're going to add our watermelon juice back in. And this is going to cool down that mixture. So when we add it into our watermelon, it's not going to burn the fruit. Uh, mix this yes, up yes, for a good 20, 30 seconds. Good we're going to scoop our fruit back into our watermelon here. I think we have the perfect amount of fruit to fill this thing to the yeah, 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 yeah. top. Pour our watermelon jello mixture on top of everything we're gonna put the hat back on our watermelon pop this in the fridge for about six hours this thing is done look at how beautiful that looks inside we're gonna go ahead and cut into All this right. beautiful watermelon the moment of truth you guys look at how beautiful that looks you can see uh -oh.